Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Technology. So today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a WordPress website on your home computer and access it from anywhere in this world. So you just need to follow me and don't forget to subscribe my channel Technology. So without wasting any more time, let's start the video. So first of all, you need to go to this website which is wordpress.org slash download website. So I will give you this link on my video description. So you have to go to this website and after that click on this download wordpress uh, 5.2.2 the which is the latest version and this one is for linux download tad.gwgz uh, okay so now you have to click on this download wordpress 5.2.2 click over there and as you can see download has been started so you have to wait for a few seconds and after that uh, you have to go to this website which is called apachefriends.org to download zam server so after go to this website you have to click on this download 64 bit so if you don't know your architecture version then just go to the my computer and right click on this pc and go to the properties and you will get your system architecture version it's in my case it is 64 bit as you can see so i will download here 64 bit so as you can see put the file is downloading right now on my computer so after download these two files which is WordPress and XAMPP server, so I will install XAMPP server first. So double click over there and click on yes. So now click on yes and ok. Now next, then click on next, then once again next and uncheck this option and after that click on next next once again as you can see it's installing so you have to wait for a few seconds So after that you have to select this private network and click on allow access. So after that click on finish make sure that this option is checked and click on finish and here you have to select your language so I will choose here English and click on save. Now as you can see on your right side corner one XAM server control panel is showing over there. So now you have to start these two uh, server which is Apache and MySQL. So click on start and also click on start. So check this option and click on allow access. So as you can see the Apache server is not opening. So what you have to do you need to download another software if you are getting this error on your computer. Okay the same error. Uh, just you have to go to this website which is the uh, microsoft docs.microsoft.com to download tcp view so i've already downloaded on my computer as you can see so you have to click on this download button over there and you will get this zip file so you have to extract this zip file over there so which i have already extract over there as you can see so now what you have to do you need to open this one tcp or uh, tcpvcon.exe so double click over there sorry this one tcpview.exe and after that click on yes now to find the http port uh, which is running http port and https port okay so as you can see uh, system process is running http and this one is also running https also you will get uh, like port number 80 over there so as you can see winstore app is using this port so directly click on that app which is using HTTP port and right click on that app and click on end pass process and after that click on yes okay it's done so now also system process you have to also click on end process after done let me start once again the apache server so still is, it is not working so you have to find one more so as you can see avg is also using http so i will click on end tax and now 
maybe I have to close my browser this one okay so let me start once again let's see it's working or not so still it is not working so you have to uh, and tax all this system process which is running HTTPS and HTTP after that click on start so as you can see VMware running this port okay so what you have to do uh, you need to find your VMware as you can see here is a VMware so you have to right click over there and click on end tax now once again start so as you can see now the Apache server is running on my computer so now what you have to do you need to go to the back option and you have to expand uh, sorry extract this WordPress G file so right click over there and click on extract here after that you have to go to under WordPress folder and press Control A to select all this uh, file and after that copy and go to your my computer then go to under C drive here's C drive okay so under that you will get a XAM folder so go under XAM folder then you will get a HD docs over there so here is the HD docs so under that folder you have to delete all the all the all these files you have to paste all your uh, WordPress file over there so as you can see the file is pasted over there so now just click on stop the apache server once again you have to start the apache server so now what you have to do you need to go to cmd on your computer just type over there cmd on your start menu and right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator after that click on yes you have to put this command to know your ip ip config so as you can see here is my ip which is 192.168.0.0 107 which is the ethernet adapter ethernet as you can see and this one is for virtual uh, machine so i will ignore this ip so now is it is my main physical ip address okay physical LAN card ip address so now i will put this ip address on my browser so as you can see i'm getting this page also you can type over there localhost it will work so you will get same page so I will try with my IP so now you have to select your language over there in my case I'm choosing here English and now click on continue so now you have to create one uh, database uh, name on my MySQL server so as you can see the MySQL server is running over there so what you have to do you need to go to your browser and put your IP address and after that type uh, slash and then type over there PHP my admin now press enter so you have to put uh, your IP address then slash PHP my admin okay or you can put here localhost ph slash php my admin so you will get this same uh, window okay so now you have to what you have to do you need to click on new over there on the left side corner and you have to put the database name in my case I will put here technology so copy this database name and click on create so database has been created so now click on let's go and you have to put here the database name technology as you can see so now what you have to do you need to select that uh, your database and click on privileges so click over there now click on add user account and here you need to select add uh, any user and you can put any username like I will put here local host so I will copy this local host over there on username portion and the uh, here you need to choose hostname localhost so localhost as you can see hostname localhost and on the password field you have to put your password so I will put the same password for uh, I will put here like localhost which is my username so same password uh, same uh, name I will put over there and after that I have to click on check all and click check all these things and now scroll down and click on go after done 
you have to put the password over there localhost okay and after that click on submit so as you can see it's showing to run the installation so click over there and you have to put your, your site title means your site name in my case i'm putting a technology username i will put here admin password i also choose here admin now you have to select this option if you are putting the weak password so you have to select this option and after that you can put over there any username so i will put here demo dot gmail dot com now check this option for indexing the site and after that click on install wordpress so it will take few seconds so now you have to what you have to do you need to click on login and after that put your username and then password after that click on login and now i will go to the appearance and click on themes and from here you can choose your by default theme or you can click on this add new button and from here you can select any theme for your website so i will select here this theme explore the world so you have to click on install so as you can see the theme is successfully installed so now click on active okay the theme is uh, activated now click on this visit site as you can see my site is ready okay so i will access this website from my uh, mobile so i will show you guys how to do that so now i am going to open my website from my mobile so just open your browser and put your ip address 168.0. sorry 0. 0.107 so as you can see it's opening the site is properly opening so if you want to access this website outside of your network then uh, let me tell you a few things about uh, the ip you know uh, basically in our home we are using dynamic ip that's mean whenever you will restart your router or if you log out or log in your internet then it this ip will change okay so this is my public ip exactly so uh make sure that your isp is not blocked uh port 80 and port 443 okay if this two port is unblocked from your isp then you will have able to access this website outside from your network with this ip so just go to the uh go to the google.com and type my ip and you will get your public ip okay so now you have to do few settings on your router if you are using router and also in your computer so first of all i will show you guys from the firewall so firewall if it is not working then you have to unblock uh create two rules uh on your computer which is so i will show you guys so just go to run box just pressing windows and r button together and after open the run box you have to type over there firewall dot cpl now press enter from your keyboard now you will get this window so now you have to go to this advanced settings from the left side corner and you will get this uh, inbound uh, inbound rule and outbound rule so you have to click the inbound rule and you have to set a new rule and you have to select here port click on next now select here tcp and i i want to unblock port 80 then comma then space 443 i need to unblock this two port for my computer so click on next so allow connection you have to choose here allow connection and after that click on next then make sure that this three option is checked and after that click on next and here i will put here uh, http and https now click on finish so as you can see rule is created http and https so after that you have to go to your router okay so just open your router page so right now i am using a tp-link router so if you will directly connecting uh, through your isp internet then you, you don't need to do this setting if you are connecting through router then you have to uh, uh, do these settings on your computer so log in your router and after that you have to click on this forwarding tab over there and after that you have to click on uh, virtual server and click on add new 
so i have already created one rule so i just modify over there or i will delete this port 80 and click on add and you have to put here port name port number in this case 80 the port number once again 80 the ip address you have to put your computer ip address in my case it is 192.168.0.7 which is my computer ip address and here you can select our uh, tcp and after that click on enable and from here you have to select http and after that click on save now go to the port triggering you have to do same thing over there also so just delete this rule and I click on add port 80 incoming port 80 and then tcp here and click on save and the dmg you have to put your ip address over there and click on save okay so now what you have to do you need to go to this security and click on remote management okay so now as you can see web management port so basically this router is using by default port number 80 so i have already changed the router port over there which is 8080 so if you will change the, your router port number then you have to put here 8080 okay otherwise whenever you will uh, put this ip address from outside of your network you will get this router page okay so that's the reason you have to change change this uh, web management port means router port so whenever uh, you will you want to access your router so you have to put here semicolon and then 8080 like me you know as you can see i'm using 8080 port because uh, my website port number is 80 as you can see which is http so that's the reason i have to uh, change this port so what you have to do you need to go to the security and then click on web management and here into put here 8080 after 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 that you can access your website outside of your network so if your website will not work your public ip then restart your router and log out and log in your uh, internet page and after that try with new ip uh, so still if it is not working then it is uh, the problem with your uh, isp end okay so i hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below i will see you guys in the next one next video take care